video has given some tips and tricks for the Behringer Crave, which would also work for the Mother 32. And here I'm going to look at how you get an additional LFO by using the Assign Out. So in the last video, I looked at the LFO and how you could change the shape of the LFO from a square to pulses and from a triangle to a ramp. So this is really flexible, this LFO, much more flexible than it looks, and it goes into audio rates. But for much slower modulation, and if you're using the sequence, you can use the Assign Out as an additional LFO because it sends out control voltages relating to the sequencer. And four of the modes include effectively a sawtooth, a square, a ramp, and a sample and hold LFO. So that's really handy if you've used your LFO somewhere else and you want some sort of nice slow modulation, you can get it from the assign modes. So let's show you those quickly. To get into the assign mode on the Crave, it's shift, hold, reset, and eight. And we can see that one is flashing out, means we're on page one. We go to the next page, page two, and we're in assign mode five. And assign mode five is a step ramp. So for the length of the sequence, we go from zero to five volts in steps. This sequence we've got set up here is only four notes. So let's just take the assign mode and let's put it into, say, the cutoff. So over the course of this four note sequence, it should go from zero to five. So it should step up per note. It's not gonna ramp continuously through the notes. It's gonna step up note by note. So let's have a listen. There we go, let's change that to mode six, which is a sawtooth, so that should be dropping from a maximum to a minimum. Seven's a triangle. Sounds like that doing it over twice the length of the bar, doesn't it? So that's going from naught to a maximum of the first four notes, and then on the second loop of the bar, it goes from maximum down to zero again. And possibly the most interesting of the modes to me is mode eight, and that's random, which is effectively sample and hold. And of course, we can control all these much more effectively by instead of taking the assign out and sticking it directly into the VCF cutoff, we'll put it into mix two and we'll put VC mix output into the cutoff. So now this knob here will be adjusting the, the amount of modulation. Let's just listen to the filter on its own by sticking uh, a dummy into the external audio and listening to only the external audio. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's bring the oscillator back in. And let's just go to a longer sequence. So come out of this mode by shift, hold an eight. Go to sequence five. So this is now just doing two octaves, so it's eight notes. So the ramp should be over eight, and the, and the sawtooth should be over eight, and the triangle should be over 16. Let's have a listen. Yeah, that's doing it for the full sequence. Let's go to pattern six, or mode six, I should say. There you go, it's dropping from a maximum to a minimum over the eight notes. Seven. It's over two bars and eight we know is the sample and hold again. But for example, if you're using a sound using, using the LFO already, so let's put this onto a PWM style sound. Your 
effectively running two LFOs. So once you get to know these assigned modes and how to get in and out of them, it makes it a lot more flexible. Hope that was of some use to somebody somewhere. See you next time.